Hello Aquarius, welcome to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm here to do a, a, a little reading for the Aquarius Collective. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is well. Thank you for coming to my channel. Hit that like button, help me grow. Let me connect with you energetically so that I can tap into you guys' energy and get more precise readings. Yeah, we're just going to do a, a quick read. Whatever comes out. Love, money, career, whatever. Okay. Reading the Aquarius Collective. What's going on with the Aquarius? What's the overall energy? Two of Cups. Hey, how great is that? Mutual love. Mutual respect can be between co-workers, lovers, children. It could be anyone. It's a wonderful energy. I'm going to get some cards and then we're going to jump right in. that back. I'm not really sure if I did that. I felt like I did it. So if it feels like I did it, I'm going to put it back. If it wants to come out, it'll come back. She was sitting like this, so that means she was upright. Okay. So we got the moon, which is uh, Pisces energy. We got the sun, that's Leo, justice, that's Libra. You got people showing up. We got a lot, all major arcanas. Oh, I just noticed that you want to have some big changes going on with you guys Aquarius and the hangman in reverse the hangman in reverse I think the hangman is Pisces also anything else for the Aquarius Collective what's going on with the Aquarius Collective all these major changes going on it's the new year y'all happy new year uh oh, if it hits the ground, it's red upright. It looked like it was the Nine of Cups. The Wish card. A card of completion. Uh oh. I think that was me. Let me put that back. Anything else for the Aquarius Collective? Thank you. It was the Nine of Cups. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Okay. All right. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. So let's look at this. What's really going on? Notice over so you guys can see the cards. <clears throat> okay. We got the moon in reverse. This means that you that you're you you've already decided the path you're gonna take, if I'm not mistaken. You're gonna you have already decided the path you're gonna take. And um you're releasing all your fears and negative energy. And delusions and you're releasing all the negativity and moving forward to your son here moving forward to your happiness 
I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm just getting over a little cold. I'm all right. And then we have the justice, which is about clarity and communication, balance, justice. We got the hangman in reverse. And what is that? Seven. That's a seven. All these major arcanos. I don't think I've ever done a reading with this many major arcanas. That's not seven. That's 12. Yeah, and justice about choices also. Okay, but the hangman is a spiritual card, but it's in reverse. Um, and it says that Oh, you may have lost your way spiritually. You need to connect to your higher self because your old beliefs are not working for you anymore. You're at a crossroads here needing to work on your spirituality. And then we have the nine, the nine of cups, which is a wish card almost to completion. The wheel of fortune in reverse talks about bad luck. We're going to clarify. The Knight, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hold on just a second. I have no idea what the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is. I know when it's up, it's an offer coming in. Yeah, I know that the Pentacles are slow energy. When they're coming in, when it's upright, it's slow energy. And it's success, it's success and servitude, a coming commitment and job. Okay. But in reverse, it talks about being stagnant. It's talking about being stagnant, not moving forward and discouraged and careless. Okay. And it's going to stress you out with the Nine of Swords. You may have some sleepless nights. But you're not going to let it hold you because you're going to move forward. Okay? Let's get some clarifiers for this reading. <clears throat> Why is the overall energy the Two of Cups? Let me go look at that real quick. Why is the overall energy the Two of Cups? That's about mutual respect and love, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a positive card. So these changes must must be something positive in someone's life. Take with fits and lead a rest because this is not everyone's reading. Yeah, mutual unified love. Great friendship, harmony. Sought after by many. Sought after in many of areas of your life, which means you could be uh, jobs could be coming for you. To be a reunion from the past, successful business, partnership. No worries. A strong connection to God. But here the hangman in reverse is here, saying that you need to need to be closer to your higher self. Gotta cut. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a clarifier for the moon in reverse. Make sure my cards are bright. Give me a, a clarifier for the moon in reverse. Why is that here for the Aquarius Collective? Why is that moon in reverse for the Aquarius Collective? Okay. It is so windy out there. My goodness. They said 20 miles an hour. It sounds like it's more than 20 miles per hour. Why is the moon? Thank you. Okay. We got the nine of cups showing up to clarify the moon in reverse. And the nine of the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment. 
Oh, closing out a cycle. So that's it was it was confirming that you're closing out a cycle. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and, and then the devil's at the bottom, so it probably was a bad cycle you've been going through, Aquarius. So it's saying that you're closing that out. Good stuff. The sun. Why is the sun here for the Aquarius Collective? Thank you for making that clear. The sun is a yes card. It's all about positivity and happiness. Summer. It's a Leo card. And the direction is east. Oh. Okay. But it's clarified by the eight of swords. Okay. So somebody may not see a way out. Or see a way to their happiness. One second. Let's just see. Okay. And the Eight of, Eight of Swords is about bad news, sickness, crisis, conflict, slander. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this may be coming from what? In the summertime, I need another card, Father. Help me clarify the sun. Why is the sun here? Clarified by the Eight of Swords. Why is that here? I need clarity. Thank you. It is. The floor is red upright. Okay. The Fool. And that's that's what I thought. I just wanted to clarify it. Um, you you want to make this? You want to go to your happiness? You know you'll be happy if you left maybe a job. That's what I'm feeling, or or a relationship or something. You know you'll feel you'll feel better. It'll be a better place. But you're scared of the new beginning. You're 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 bound by your own thoughts of this new beginning. And what I'm seeing, you need to let it go and, and, and pray about it. Thank you for clarifying that, Father. And then we got the the King of Wands at the bottom, which is just is confirming you need to believe in yourself, Aquarius. Take that leap of faith. Everybody taking leaps now anyway. You might as well go ahead and leap like everybody else doing right now because we are in transformation. Everybody is transforming. Lives are being shaken at this time. It's, it's, it's just a lot going on. Why is the justice here, Father? Thank you for the clarity. Why is the justice here? Why is the justice here for the Aquarius Collective? Oh, that just really just... The bottom cards keep wanting to come out. Why is the justice here for the Aquarius? The hangman in reverse again. You 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 want this clarity. <clears throat> You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to release this. You're going to have to tap into your higher self in order to gain your balance. So somebody's off balance. Yeah. You're going to have to... The hangman twice and is clarifying the justice card. Yeah, you've lost your way. Someone needs to work on their spirituality and connect with God or... Whoever you believe in, you know, that's up to you. And, um, yeah, in order for you to get to, to gain this balance. Clarify the hangman for me. Thank you. Why is the hangman here for the Aquarius Collective? Why is the hangman here in reverse? Thank you. Yeah. 
yeah, you someone's off balance. Someone's someone's really off balance. The uh, uh, King of Cups in reverse. They you need to balance your mind and your heart. Take some time out. Maybe you need to just go visit church again. It it doesn't help to start reading the Bible if that's what you want to do. Um, look into meditation. Um, yeah, look into meditation because um, you don't want life to take you under, and you never, never, never let life take you under because we're we're just having a human experience here. Okay, um, and you're gonna have good and bad. It is what it is, but you don't you don't let it take you under. Don't let it sink you. So, you know you can check out for a minute, take some time out for yourself, maybe a week, two weeks, then and, and sometimes longer than that. But you got You got to get back up. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> and I mean that wholeheartedly. You got to get back up. You got to get back up, Aquarius. Don't let life do this to you. I've been in dark places. Let me tell you. Um, I have uh, resources and things in, 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 my, in my comments down below. Uh, suicide prevention, mental health. It doesn't hurt to get help because I went through a dark time in my life and I wish I would had. Um, I wish I would had went and got some therapy. Talk to somebody. At least they, they can't tell your business. So that I can. So I wouldn't have been stuck for two and a half years. My life was frozen for two and a half years. Don't sit in this energy. Start praying. Talking to God. Then talk to your higher self. They only want the best for you. A wonderful card. The, the nine of cups. It's a wish card. Coming to completion. Probably out of this. 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 Uh, dark. Dark energy here. Let me get a clarifier for the nine of, of, of uh, cups, please. Thank you, Father. Yeah, I went real deep and did some, um, I went through a dark night of the soul and you just go back to your childhood. You think about everything you've been through. How did you get here? Everything that you've experienced and think about the lessons that was that was being taught to you. That's how I got out. And I stopped drinking. I didn't stop completely. But I let the liquor go. And um, I don't drink hardly. Even as close as I was back then. When I went into that dark space. So that's my first advice to anyone. Don't, don't um, drown yourself in that bottle. That bottle is dangerous. It will destroy the rest of your human experience. You want to experience more out of this. Okay. This wanted to come out because I saw it before and it uh <laughs> and then it just came out on its own again. Okay, this is the um the hermit. I'm sorry. This is the hermit. This is Virgo energy, and this is about taking that time, like I was just saying. Take that time to yourself. Heal yourself. You see this nine of, nine of cups? This nine of cups, he's by himself. That's his record back there. Look, that's everything he done been through. He's sitting there by himself, contemplating, thinking. Isolate yourself. That's what, I, that's what I had to do, maybe. Everybody's different. Do it how you need to do it. Start playing music more. Get out of your head. I remember when I was there. It's dangerous in there. You have to get out your head. If you don't, if you're not a avid reader, start listening to 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 stories. Even if you don't believe in the Bible, start listening to stories from the Bible. They give you understanding and clarity. You need to speak to your higher self or whoever you believe in. Your ancestors. So that you can so you can complete this cycle of this pain that you're in. 
I don't know who this is for. I know this isn't for everyone. But it's time to take some time out to heal yourself. Aquarius are very loving people. They take care of everyone around them. Maybe it's just time for you to take care of you. It's, it's time. I, I was there. I'm, I'm a Scorpio with Aries rising. I'm a very giving person. So when I'm, so when, when I decided I had to pull back my energy, my time, my money, everything from people, it was hard at first, but I was able to do it. Now I've created great boundaries. Get out of your head. Create new boundaries and a new idea of where you want to be at in life. Let's continue on. Will of Fortune in, in reverse. <clears throat> I don't mean to sound preachy, but that's a heavy energy right there. And I've been there. Um, the Will of Fortune in reverse, Father. Thank you for clarifying for me. The Will of Fortune in reverse is about bad luck. I don't want to tell you that. Huh. It, the King of Swords coming in on the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about bad luck, negativity. It could also be about increased abundance. Lack of control, delays and setbacks. We all have them. Yeah. Learning your lessons in life, karmic lessons. And this King of Swords, he sits in he sits in um in clarity and truth. He cuts things off that doesn't serve him. He thinks logically. And that's a good way to be. He makes head over heart decisions. So let's get to this next phase. Yeah. It's, it's time to get out of that and start thinking about self because the because the king of swords he is a single a single person he's he, he it's a single energy if we were talking about relationships I would say oh this is a single man he want to be single this is where you need to be right now I can tell because you need to do some healing why is the knight of Pentacles here in reverse thank you father Me delivering a message. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please and thank you. In reverse. So you, you're being stagnant. Yeah, you're being stagnant, and you're and this is the five of swords sitting in your mental anguish. You can't do this, huh? Don't 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 do this to yourself. The Knight of Pentacles is not moving forward. Horse can't walk on his back. Okay? This is moving forward. This is not doing anything. This is sitting stagnant in your head. You have to you have to get out of your head, huh? And take your time doing it. Don't hurt yourself or nobody. It's a human experience. Think of it, think of it like um it's not you going through it, but somebody else. What would you do with whatever you're going through? How would you work out? What would you tell your best friend? What would you tell your brother, mother, sister, cousin? That's how you work yourself out of it. Look at yourself like a third person and move accordingly. Sleepless nights with this nine of swords. Clarify this nine of swords for me, Father. Thank you for making it so clear for me. Okay, the five of cups in reverse. So you're no longer looking at the past. The five of cups in reverse. 
You're no longer looking at the past or thinking about loss. Oh, you're stressing about all the people that you've lost in your family. The Five of Cups in reverse talks about um, ancestry. False projects. But the way that this reading is going, I'm assuming you lost someone. Maybe your mother, your father, brother, sister. There's so many people that's passing now. It's okay. It's okay, Aquarius. We are human, having a human experience. It's okay to, to hurt and um, grieve your loss. But you can't stay stuck here. You can't be in hangman energy. You, you can't. You're going to waste so many years of your life. You have to come out of this. Somebody's been in this energy too long. And I know that because of the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry y'all going through this. The nine, I got the Nine of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I just started feeling like I was about to get sick. My nose felt like it was about to stop up and everything. I don't know if you guys are crying or... Yeah. 